Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, good night, good, 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 goodness. And welcome to your weekly health, wealth, love and evolution reading. I have just also uploaded the February Masculine Feminine Full Love Reading. So please do check that one out. It is a month of divine love, divine lovers uniting. So there's another little love message for the month that came through yesterday. And um, yeah, just having a good shuffle. Um, I'm liking to give you the opportunity to just take one deep, long breath just whilst I'm shuffling here, in and out again, just to stop for a few seconds and notice to be, notice to be where you are, <laughs> notice where you are and just be where you are, because it's such a powerful, powerful little reset, just a little reset to be to be in the now. So let's see what's going on for this week. Cool. Roll my sleeves up. Ooh, Queen of Wands flipping out there. Where did she come from? Oh, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do two then. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Oh, what am I going to do? Let's just, sorry, I'm just going to read into this. I don't know where it works. I think she's just separate and we're going to have to bring her in uh, as a little extra message. But bottom of the deck for this week is the Four of Swords. Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands is saying that she's going to creep up on you this week. Um, this is the, 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 the intuitive feminine uh the intuitive feminine energy um and she's very very grounded this queen of wands as well i mean it's it's wands it's passion it's fire it's it's um you know it it's it's spirit but it's very very grounded especially in this queen of wands especially this week look at that big plinth she sits upon she is weighted she is grounded she is present she is here and she's going to make herself be known this week. Um, so let her allow her to. But the card on the bottom of the deck for this week is the Four of Swords. This is rest, relaxation, meditation, as I just kind of talked about, a little bit of a reset. Um, it can also represent kind of sleep for me um, and, and can represent um, those that don't see because they are asleep. So it's kind of like those that don't want to see um, or they can't see. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter how much you try to show somebody that is asleep something. If you're waving it in front of their face, they are not going to perceive it. So just a little bit of something to be aware of. I think this is a bit of a dual message with this, with this Queen of Wands. And maybe it's a bit of a message for that feminine energy, that feminine intuitive energy is very, very powerful, but it's about her discerning where she, where and how she communicates. And, but really, I think it's about releasing expectations for what she knows, what she intuits, what she can communicate for her as a messenger. And those that have the, the eyes to see and the ears to hear, essentially, if we're asleep, if somebody is asleep, they cannot perceive whatever, whatever is being communicated. And that doesn't mean that it's not um, it's not correct or true or useful um, for as much as those things can be perceived and our perception. You know, it doesn't mean that it's not powerful and true in that context, either for her or for this person. Um, it just means that it cannot be comprehended. Um, yes. And then let's just get these cards out. I like to do it as a bit of a, bit of a gap between, not just take the four off this week. That four on the bottom. 
let's keep them both up here side by side actually she's separate i mean this is still a separate uh, uh energy it does still have that that it, it, it is still that message of rest relaxation meditation you know just just chilling out chill out card chill out time okay i'm gonna try and make there we go that's better so first card health card for this week is the hierophant wow structure groundedness this is about having some kind of structure for yourself this week in terms of health so if you're wanting to focus upon nutrition get get you know find a structure find find you know create some some structure around that i mean structure what's interesting about this hierophant card is um it, it is the high priest it is the teacher it is it is about seeking advice as well so it's saying use use some some knowledge use use some uh outside knowing so that so it's it's like we can term structure in that way as in it's using some prior knowledge so it's a teacher kind of um kind of thing but we can create structures that are free we can make a decision to say right i'm going to create a structure around nutrition but that structure or that plan is actually going to be to be more free with it to, to let go a little bit um so it can seem a bit paradoxical but it's just creating a structure and that structure can be to be more free and easy with it uh, maybe even to be a little bit more intuitive with it, maybe to let go a little bit of some things, you know, just 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 kind of go with the flow. There is also this message about a teacher, uh, somebody, a learned person, a learned individual that you can accept advice from. But make sure you find that it is the higher, that it is a higher, a higher, a higher power, a higher perspective. Um, and never take on anything that doesn't feel good to you. It's not about blindly following people. It's about taking in as much information as you can from different sources and then doing what feels correct to you for and for you. Oh, wealth is a three of uh, three of swords. This is very interesting. I mean, the three of swords is often a very emotional, uh, very emotional card. And it's kind of a card of heartbreak, difficulty, struggle. But I feel like it's kind of saying it, it, it is it is due to the thoughts we're having about it. But what I feel like this card is saying is don't bother focusing on that this week. It's not a big deal this week. If, it's kind of like if you go there, you're going to experience pain. So it's almost like it's just a little it's just a little don't go down that road sign. Don't go down this road sign. That doesn't mean that it won't happen. It's more that we shouldn't focus upon it because remember, the swords are mental. And so it's it's thought. And it's saying, I feel like it's saying, well, don't bother. Don't try to think about it. Don't try and work it out. Don't even bother thinking about it. Let it do its own thing. It will work itself out. Love, five of, of wands. This is really interesting. This is, this is you know, um, some, 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 I think this is why this four is here. This four is saying to just chill out. Don't worry about it. Um, because there's the potential for some conflict. Um, the ones in this five of ones is it's a creative force it's a creative energy but it can manifest as disagreement but you know it can also be a dance we can be in this five of ones energy and um and uh, enjoy it and very much as like you know when you rub two two twigs together you can create friction that creates fire um it's fire itself isn't necessarily bad it can be used for both both seemingly positive and negative um jobs in life shall we say so you know conflict friction creates fire um and again, to bring it back to the structure idea, if we have structure within which to put that fire, if we have created a space for it to be within like a like a grill or a barbecue or something, then we can use it to cook food um, or a campfire or something. If we 
if we do not create a structure for it and a place for it, it can kind of burn out of control. So it's not necessarily bad, but there is the potential for destruction in in this kind of battle energy. And within love, in that love position, it's it's that's talking about our relationships, the way that we interact with one another. I feel like it might even be about, you know, things on the internet. Um, I've recently personally gotten for research purposes in terms of some uh I, some things to do with human beings and bo human the human body basically um i've had to go back onto facebook um and to to be part of some facebook groups basically which is completely new for me uh <laughs> it's a different landscape and I, but I do notice this on the internet and it exists on YouTube as well. It exists everywhere. People like to battle about what's right and what's wrong a lot. There seems to be a lot of that going on um, where people, you know, the internet has opened up the um, the arena for lots of people to, to have an opinion, basically. And it's a little bit like, you know, too many cooks spoil the broth. Um, it's, you know, this is mishmash of opinions. Um, and that might even be a message about, you know, even intuitives you're going to or, or, pe or friends or anyone you're seeing on social media. Um, essentially, it's kind of social media and, and people, you know, believing that they, what they believe is best for, hu for all humans, you know. And a lot of it is very well intended. They believe that what is best for them is best for everybody and they kind of want to everybody to live the way that they do. Um, but, you know, the more of us that get involved in that, the more chaotic it gets and the more kind of friction there is. Um, and I think there is a message there about relationships and social media and those kind of things. And I feel like it is saying that that it has the potential to cause problems. Um, it's just too many opinions, too many people, too, too much access to too much information that can be confusing and cre can create conflict. Evolution, Ten of Cups. I mean, th this is... This, what I feel like this is saying is anybody that's in a very high vibration love experience, and I would call this unconditional love, there's less resistance. So, you know, the more resistance there is, the, 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 the heavier it can feel. The, the less resistance there is, the lighter it feels. So it's not a judgmental perspective to say that something can be higher or lower it just is it's like a piano it's like mu music the tone it's either there it's low or it's high um but as human beings yes it doesn't feel so good to have that resistance um it feels much better to be in that high vibe place so i feel like because this is about relationships and love this card and it's in the evolution position it's saying for those that are in a high vibe unconditional love experience and when we can you know be in that state because our states also differ and change um when you're in that high vibe unconditional love space this is the experience this is what's happening it's all about joy it's all about togetherness it's all about the dream come true and, and a, an extreme emotional high point and completion and and just beauty and everything but if we're kind of getting a little bit too involved with our thoughts about things and not actually feeling into the truth i feel like that's when things can get problematic and then again this is really just about passion the ones are about passion and it's saying well too many people get involved um and beware of other people getting involved in your relationship um whether that's on the internet or in in quote unquote real life um because they are i feel like it's too many people can add to the problem if you feel like there's there's an issue that needs to be resolved in relationship um but it's kind of like the less attached you can be, the more high vibe you can be, the better your experience is going to be. And there's a potential for hugely incredible high vibe experience there um, in relationship. So there we go. That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a like and um, subscribe if you haven't. Also click the bell because I've some people have been messaging me telling me that they're not no longer getting emails. Um, when the uploads are up, when the messages are up. Um, so please do click that bell and make sure you've clicked that bell if you haven't. 
Um, just about to record now the weekly masculine feminine, which I'm excited about. Um, yesterday, the masculine feminine monthly full reading went up here on YouTube. So please check that out. I'll put the link below. And also, yes, for the whole month of February, I'm doing a donated dollar. And for, for the chance to win for February, the month of love, not that there's any such thing as a month of love, but the month where more people are focused on love maybe than usual, um, you donate a dollar to my, my work and I will put you into the draw for a free hour, full hour um, personal reading with me. And these are very, very transformative readings. So if you want to do that, um, it's just a dollar um, and donate that, then um, you'll be in the draw for that. And that will end on February 28th. So lots going on, lots going on, um, lots of opportunities for more. Um, as always, you are more amazing than you know. I'm, I'm just telling you because I know, because we cannot see ourselves clearly. That's what we need other people for. Um, and um, yeah, just remember that you, you are just way more, way more incredible than, you know, we are all are. We're just so beautiful um, that we almost can't see ourselves. So just remember that all, every single one of us. Loads and loads of love for this week, a huge hug, uh, and um, I'll see you again next week. This week's reading is about how the feminine can receive the love and support from the masculine that he is definitely, definitely able to give her. See you in a sec.